These days, it seems like scientists and researchers are making mind-blowing discoveries each and every minute. From the outer reaches of space to our long-forgotten past, we're only starting to scratch the surface of what we can potentially uncover. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at three mind-blowing discoveries that were made recently. Australia's 100 million year old crater. Australia is no stranger to weird and strange discoveries, but the last thing drilling company Evolution Mining was expecting to find in their search for gold was a crater left by a meteorite 100 million years ago. During the company's scheduled work in the Western Australian outback, it's unclear how the company first noted the crater's existence, but word soon spread to geologists for examination revealing that underground land was hiding a massive crater with a diameter of 5 kilometres. Named after the nearby mining town, the Aurobanda Crater is now believed to be one of the oldest and largest in the world. Scientists were able to discover the existence of the crater through giveaway signs of meteoric impact, specifically through the appearance of the geological features known as shatter cones. These are rare formations in bedrock left after impact by meteors or by nuclear explosions underground. The news came soon after a previous crater was discovered in the Western Australian state earlier in 2020, named Yarraburba. Despite previous discoveries, Dr Jason Myers was surprised by the discovery. He described that it was made in an area where the landscape is extremely level, you wouldn't know it was there because the crater has been filled in over geological time. The meteor that created the Aurobanda is believed to have been anywhere between 100 to 200 metres wide. The results of the impact were more than just a crater as well. Scientists state that the aftermath of the event actually caused the ground to push down before rebounding back up like a spring. By using modern research techniques, the team involved with the discovery were able to accurately map out the dimensions of the crater, leading scientists to marvel at its size. Through gravity surveying and other methods, we were able to examine the Earth's rich geological history so we might better predict our planet's future. For example, by mapping out just how many asteroids hit Earth and by measuring their impact, we can begin to accurately predict when we could next expect another impact the same size as the Aurobanda. Dr Myers echoed this sentiment, stating the discovery could assist scientists in predicting another imminent impact. Dr Myers also believes we'll discover many more asteroid impact sites, stating, there are probably quite a few more out there. We've probably been hit by more asteroids than we initially thought. Luckily, with this discovery, and many more potentially on the horizon, and with technology, will be able to predict any future dangerous asteroid collisions. The Ocean Planet series Decades of sci-fi movies and TV shows have given us wonderful imaginings of the kind of planets which might be out there among the stars. Ceres is a dwarf planet that you might not have known existed. Ceres is actually the biggest celestial body in the asteroid belt that sits between Mars and Jupiter. Although technically an asteroid, Ceres has been held for the classification of a dwarf planet since 2006, and has been under the watchful eye of scientists and enthusiasts alike. Believe it or not, we've known about Ceres' existence for some time. It was back in 1801 when Giuseppe Piazzi discovered it, initially believing it to be a fully-fledged planet. Ceres stands out among other nearby bodies in space due to its size, this, and also the fact it's been smoothed and rounded by its own gravity. This makes it much more similar to what we would deem as a characteristic of a planet. In August, scientists learned something extraordinary about Ceres, that it might not be the lifeless, floating ball of rock they once thought it was. Instead, scientists now believe it's actually an ocean world. Teams of expert scientists from both Europe and the US made the amazing discovery after analysing imagery caught on NASA's spacecraft, Dawn. The craft used infrared imaging to take data of its surface, a mere 35 kilometres above the asteroid. What they found was incredibly enlightening. Focusing on crater Okita, an impact site over 20 million years old, 
the scientists now believe that it's hiding a deep reservoir of briny liquid underneath its mysterious surface. Several teams were tasked at examining the pictures. One group noticed the presence of hydrohalite, a material that's found in cold, briny waters. The presence of hydrohalite is significant, as it's yet to be seen outside of Earth. This perhaps points towards signs of potential life on the distant celestial body. One of the researchers involved in the study declared that hydrohalite was a definitive sign that Cerise used to have seawater. They stated, We can now say that it's a sort of ocean world, as are some of Saturn's and Jupiter's moons. Excitingly, the researchers believe that deposits of hydrohalite and salt may have only emerged recently. They estimate the dwarf planet's reservoirs may be as young as 2 million years old. This makes them relatively new on the asteroid. Who knows how many other bodies in space are hiding the building block to life just below the surface. Perhaps as our imaging and technology advances even further, we'll uncover even more aspects of our celestial neighbours that we didn't think were possible. New dinosaur related to the T-Rex discovered on the Isle of Wight. The T-Rex would be forever cemented in pop culture as the ultimate king of dinosaurs. This is probably well suited, since the dinosaur's name in Latin literally means King of the Tyrant Lizards. But did you know that a relative to the iconic T-Rex was just recently named after being discovered on a small island beach in England? There's still so much to discover and learn when it comes to these ancient lizards, and yet avid fossil hunter Robin Ward was not expecting to find much on a beach that he'd been advised to not bother searching. Still determined to check in the places others weren't looking, Robin made a discovery of bones belonging to a once unknown species of theropod on a small beach on the Isle of Wight, UK. Even more surprisingly, other pieces of the undiscovered species were found on Shanklin Beach. With the multiple different bones found and donated for analysis, scientists quickly began to learn more about the exciting discovery. Scientists realised the dinosaur belonged to the theropod family thanks to the bone's unique structure, which was categorised by lots of air spaces and hollow cavities. Theropods are known for these qualities, with the T-Rex being the most well-known by far, along with members of the modern bird family. According to the University of Southampton, the university in charge of researching the bones, these spaces within the skeleton actually have a tactical advantage. The room within the skeletal structure meant that these types of birds had a more efficient breathing system and would have been considerably lighter in weight. The newly discovered dinosaur has been given the name of Vectera veneta in Opinatus. It's said to have lived on Earth 115 million years ago in the Cretaceous period of history. Stretching out at 13 feet long, this would have been one seriously intimidating dinosaur. The scientists working on the study hypothesised that this particular theropod inhabited the more northern part of the island before dying at some point and then being washed to the Shanklin beach. Chris Barker, a paleontologist from the university leading the study, said the current record of theropod dinosaurs in that period is not very rich. Thankfully, discoveries like this are helping scientists piece together our understanding of dinosaur biology and biodiversity millions of years in the past. With an already rare discovery being unearthed, the dinosaur on the Isle of Wight is also doubly rare because of the region they were located in. According to Chris Barker, dinosaurs are rare in deposits like the ones at Shanklin Beach, as many of the fossils are marine life, such as oysters or plant matter. These factors make the discovery all the more special, and certainly a very unique opportunity in the world of paleontology. Luckily, the bones were found safely and are now on display at the nearby Dinosaur Isle Museum. So what do you make of these recent discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community whilst working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Thank you.